Hey friends, Rachel here at 1870s Homestead and I had a viewer ask after I made the chicken pot pie, Rachel, how do you clean your cast iron? So I'm going to show you not necessarily how to season it, but um, how I maintain everyday use of cast iron cooking. We primarily cook only in cast iron unless I need to boil something and then I have stainless steel pots for that. So let's get to it. It's quick and simple. Now I'm not going to tell you it's the way to do it. There's lots of ways to manage your cast iron, but it's the way that we do it. And I'll just show you a few examples. Cooked eggs in this, there's a little sticky, not much. Cooked sauce in this, not much stuck. I have no idea what was cooked in here, but something not stuck. And I don't do this like every day you should. I usually wait till I have some. And this is what I cooked the pot pie in. And um, not much stuck to that. So we're going to clean it. I think a lot of people are frustrated with cast iron cooking because of how much food sticks to it when you're first using it. And that is true until you get it good and seasoned, but have patience because the efficiency of cast iron cooking just can't be beat. So it's not that hard. Let's go to it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn on my water super hot. Okay, it's really hot up to temperature. I use, this is a brand new one because my other one was really worn out and for Demonstration purposes, I'll show you using a clean one. Uh, stainless steel scrubber ball, or you can buy, they sell like chain mail, um, cast iron scrubbers. I just pick these up. They come in like a three pack and they last, oh, I'd say four months or so I can get out of one of these. No soap, that's the big one. get these soaking and we'll do one at a time. Okay, that's it. And then you're just gonna scrub. This is the one that had the eggs cooked in it. This is one of our absolute favorite pans. It's a Griswold, like, I don't know, five inch, five inch or six inch skillet. I don't think we've bought, like store bought any pots or pans except our Dutch oven. Everything else we've just picked up antiquing. So I would highly recommend that because you're gonna get like really good pre-seasoned pans that way. You might pay a little bit more money up front, but it'll save you in time and hassle. It's probably another one of our favorites. It is a um, Wagner. Okay, lastly was the dirtiest one, which was what I cooked the um, chicken pot pie in. That's it for washing, now I'll take you to the next step. Now I'm just going to, what I'm doing is I've got the eyes on, I'm just putting the wet straight out of the wash pans on the eyes until they dry. Okay, they're good and dry, I'm just turning them off. Okay, and what I keep is a jar of pig lard and a rag that, as you can see, is Oops. As you can see, has been used a lot. And this is why I like to do it in batches because I'm gonna get like a spoon of lard, little spoon, maybe a teaspoon. And then I take my rag and I wipe the biggest one down and I work my way from top to bottom. So let me set you guys back up and I'll show you the process. Jeez, I just did all that and the camera shut off. 
So I took the teaspoon of oil and I rubbed it in all the pans, handles, sides, bottom, and all. And what I was, so they're all done. Um, what I was saying is I've got a bit too much. So I'm just gonna, as you can see, this one has been not used. So I'm just gonna touch it up after setting for a while. Just keep it fresh, ready to go. And now I'll just let these sit until um, they've had a minute for this oil to soak in. And then we just stack them on our, right here on our eyes because we're always using them every single day. So as you can see, it, it doesn't take much effort at all to manage your cast iron. Um, recommendation, definitely don't let it sit in the sink with water and just leave it there. Sometimes we do need to soak it for a little bit, but that's it, you know, 10, 15 minutes, let it soak. Um, I've accidentally let it sit in the sink overnight, forgetting about it, and that does take a number on your seasoning. So don't do that. Um, and then just keep a jar of lard or um, whatever you use to season it. Some people use vegetable oil. I wouldn't recommend using strong flavored oils like olive oil, something that is not a uh, strong flavored oil and something that can handle high heat. So we use our pig lard and then um, these will just get stacked away and we just use them. And like I said, I wait till I have four or five to clean at a time. That way I just have to oil once. Try cast iron if you haven't, you're gonna love it. It makes the most amazing food. It holds the temperature well. If you've got them seasoned right, things just, they don't stick. So thanks guys for watching and I hope this answered the questions that you had on how I maintain my cast iron. Talk to you guys later.